What's up, guys? Um, another, hey, another. Um, just making sure the camera's in the same orientation. This is another uh, Zabella shotgun video. Um, we just had Christmas Eve dinner. I just posted the video of the dinner. Thank you very much, uh, everybody, for the awesome dinner and. Uh, I hope your Christmas was as good, if not better, than tonight was. But, um, so, working the two jobs, I don't have the, uh, amount of time to, um, really mess with it. I brought it to a gun shop, and they said that there is a burr on here. And if you look closely, um... There's a flat right, right on the top of this guy. It's way, it's way more flat here than it is here. Now, when I, uh, so this, this probably just needs some filing. If not, uh, just made a new, uh, to just make a new, um, sear for it. Um, I posted a video or not a video, a picture of this shotgun on Facebook, um, asking for suggestions of what it could be so I could help that diagnose a problem. And uh, one guy informed me, and I don't know whether it's true or not, if you guys know if this is true, let me know. But um, shotguns made, you know, um, uh, double shotguns, um, a double gun, uh, blah, 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 I can't speak right now, um, shotguns of this type of era, um, the internals weren't as hard as, um, as the ones now, so they tend to wear quickly, let's actually see if that's true. couldn't find my needle file but this should do nah it's skating it's hard she's hard so maybe that's not true but with that said any gun over a period of time would uh um you know wear and need to be worked on anyway let us some but both um firing pins go together in the same way the gun the other uh, three parts interact like this with this guy being on the top being what cocks the gun and everything so let's uh stop screwing around and work A really strong spring and it's also pretty cold I 
I'm sure there is a way better and easier way to do this. But I don't know. It. Basically what's going to happen is uh, this hole lines up with this hole, I compress it, drive a pin through it. I'm going to do that off camera real quick. Guys. I'm back. Um, I actually forgot to mention something. You got the hammer springs in, which is pretty much the hardest part, so the rest of this should go pretty easily. But um, I forgot to mention that you have to take the firing pins out. Because what happens is this back piece right here sticks out. So when you try to put the hammers in, it'll hit the uh, the bottom of this and it won't go up all the way. But the interesting discovery I made, and of course I didn't bring the freaking pick over, is both the firing pin... Uh, both the firing pin um, return springs, including the one that I had replaced, um, were all bent up. Um, yeah, so that sucks. Um, so we are going to drive this pin in. And now that we are close to the other piece, we are going to And then it's very important that when you get close, a little closer, whenever you get close, to actually take a proper punch, put it on your uh, pin, and give it a good couple of wax, check it every time. You want them flush on each side. Another hit or two will do. Good enough. Next. We will put the, uh, I don't know what the name of these parts are, I am not an expert, that's why you're watching me. <laughs> um, these are pretty straightforward, simple screw, hold them in frame make sure all the screws are facing the same way put that on the wrong way. Do 
do do do what happens when you are in a rush you do dumb stuff that ends up wasting time instead of saving you time My, um, a guy, the guy that actually taught me how to climb, Mark E. Hipple, used to have a saying, and this is, um, this is before and after this piece. As you can see, the spring, it has a notch. Oh well, I already put it in and I grabbed the wrong part. But the hammer has a notch that a little tab on the spring fits into, and you'll 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 understand when you see it for yourself. But this part goes on top of this part because it's got to cock the hammers, so the hammers got to come back and yeah. Now the other slightly hard part, which probably won't be that hard, is these have to go in like that. And the issue is the tiny little spring. It wants to be a pain in the butt. I might have to go to the vice for this one. So, alright, got one hammer in, and you can kind of see that's how they more or less go. I got a pivot on that, and yeah. Let's get the other one and I'll be right back.